Hello, welcome. In this short video, uh, let us look at how to express a sum of two complex exponentials as a single complex exponential multiplied by a real sinusoid. That is, given a sum of two complex exponentials, we can express it as as a single complex exponential, single complex exponential multiplied by a sinusoid, multiplied by a real sinusoid. So given a signal so x of t which has the following structure that is e power j a into t that is e power j a t plus e power j b t it can be combined as 2 times cos of a minus b by 2 t multiplied by e power j a plus b by 2 into t. So it is a single complex exponential multiplied by real sinusoid. So let us look at an example. So given the signal x of t equal to e power j 2t plus e power j 3t. So that is a general formula. So for this special case e power j 2t plus e power j 3t, uh, what we can do is we can rewrite it as follows that is e power j 2.5 minus 0.5 into t plus e power j 2.5 plus 0.5 into t that is we write 2 as 2.5 minus 0.5 and 3 as 2.5 plus 0.5 so clearly a plus b by 2 is 2.5 and then a minus b by 2 is 0.5 so uh, we can take the term e power j 2.5 into t as a common term so x of t can be written as e power j 2.5 t as the common term and then we are left with two terms that is first one is e power minus j 0.5 t and the second one is e power plus j 0.5 so this one is clearly equal to two times cos of 0.5 t therefore x of t is equal to two times cos of 0.5 t and then multiplied by e power j 2.5 now let us look at the absolute value of this signal that is absolute value of this signal that is modulus of x of t is simply going to be equal to 2 times modulus of cos of 0.5 t. Since the absolute value of e power j theta is always 1 so the absolute value of this signal is just 2 times cos of 0.5 t. So if you plot the absolute value of the sum of these two complex exponentials that is the sum of these two complex exponentials what we get is basically a uh, absolute value of a sinusoid and the frequency will be equal to the difference between the two exponentials that is half of the difference between the exponents of e power uh, j a t and e power j b t that is uh, the frequency will be the half the value of the exponents that is the difference between the exponents. So to summarize uh, we have looked at how to write a sum of two complex exponentials as a single complex exponential multiplied by a real sinusoid. So for example, if it is a generally x of t equal to e power j a t plus e power j b t like a general sum, uh, it can be easily rewritten as 2 times cos of a minus b by 2 that is the difference by 2 and then e power j a plus b by 2 that is the average that is exponential of the average of the coefficients into t. So that is the formula. So simple for a simple example, we have x of t equal to e power j 2t plus e power j 3t. So we can write it as uh, 2 as 2.5 minus 0.5 and 3 as 2.5 plus 0.5 and then we can take the term common that is e power j 2.5 t as a common term and then we have a formula for uh, cosine that is a Euler's formula for cosine. So we have x of t equal to 2 times cos of 0.5 t multiplied by e power j 2.5 t and if you take the absolute value of the signal you can clearly see that uh, it is basically the absolute value of a sinusoid with frequency equal to the difference uh, between the two exponentials that is the difference between the two exponents divided by 2 thanks for watching